Hi, I'm Ellen Watson of Esalen Institute and Moving Ventures. For the last 30 years, I've been a student and teacher of embodied spirit through yoga, through dance, through massage, breath work, shamanism, singing, sounding. And today my topic is yoga, body work, and pranayama. About 40 years ago, when I was a Jane Fonda workout girl and going to take jazzercise and going to the gym, I, I found a yoga, DVD, a yoga video. Back then it was just video. And I ordered it and it came, Raquel Welch was in it, who was, used to be a movie star. And it was filmed in Malibu on the beach and it was all in designer clothes and it was really funny if you looked at it today. But back then it was all that was available an old yogi named Alan Finger and Raquel Welch started it. And so I started doing that every day in my living room on the television. And so I basically started learning yoga then. And I realized that even Jane Fonda's workout was very fast. But if I slowed it down, that it, the last 15 minutes, which was her cool down, was yoga. And so when I got to Esalen in the mid-80s, I was already a yogini, even though I'd never taken a yoga class. And back then, yoga was quite esoteric out in the culture at large. And so I fell in love with it. And while a yogini, while a practicing daily yogini, I fell in love with body work the adjustments that are made in the yoga class, and with pranayama, with breath work. And because I was a full-time student, and I also worked to support myself at Esalen, but when I wasn't actually working, I was studying everything. I was able to put together yoga and body work. And about the same time, it was Anna Forrest and Ganga White who were a couple at the time and developing partner yoga. They are really the founders of partner yoga. And the beauty of what partner yoga does is teaches one almost to be a body worker. So when you're in partnership with somebody and helping them assume a better asana, a more perfect for their body form, you become a yoga teacher. So it's part of a really good yoga teacher's training is learning to give adjustments. In order to be an effective body worker, you must work with breath. You must both lead breath by making suggestions and you have to follow breath. When you give compressions, whether it's adjusting in a yoga asana or when you, uh, giving someone a massage on the table, you, do, you give the pressure when they're exhaling. So you become a student of breath. And I can say that as a body worker, when I'm actually practicing massage and body work, I use pranayama, often giving in verbal instruction on deepening breath, on making certain sounds, when, when exhaling, of where to direct breath in the body, whether it's uh, wanting to quieten the mind through getting more breath and sound into the cranium, or whether to really get a breath deeply into the belly so that people have an awareness of the, the trunk of lower organs. So as a practitioner of breath work or body work or yoga, I find that all, the breath, all of these are related on a continuum. Understand how these are related and can enhance the quality of your life. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.